Hey, Mr. Maes is here, and I'm just uh, hanging out in my laboratory, actually in my classroom, and I'm getting ready to share with you how to do a simulation. Now you might think, oh God, what's he doing with those six shades on? Well, I'm just, <laughs> just changing things up a little bit. So um, maybe I should do a whole video with some shades on. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, look pretty good though, huh? Um, anyway, today we're going to look at doing a simulation with random numbers and I'm going to do two simulations today and both of them are going to be in uh, both of them are going to be a little different. One of them is going to be a, a simulation where we use random a random number table and the other one we're going to use a TI Inspire to generate our random numbers. Now, so what is a simulation? You're probably asking yourself, hey, my ass is What's a simulation? Well, a simulation is uh, something that we do using random numbers to model a certain situation, most of the time dealing with probability. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna run a certain number of trials, and a trial is, is actually just one piece of a simulation that allows us to look at one like, like part of the probability, and then we're gonna do a couple of, of we're gonna do it a couple times, and then we're gonna put it all together. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and, and go, and now we'll turn our attention to the the other thing here, the uh, the little whiteboard here, or actually the computer screen, and uh, we'll look at a couple examples. So now we're back, and we've got uh, our computer going here, and we've got our simulation. So uh, let's take a look at what I got here on the screen. Now um, what we got here is for each time up at bat, a baseball player has a seventy percent seventy percent chance of hitting a or uh, getting out, ten percent chance that they get walked or a 20% chance of getting hit. So um, let's estimate the probability that out of five bats, the player gets at least one hit. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run a trial here, and the way we do that is, in this example, we're gonna use a random number table, so a table of random numbers, and we're gonna look at these random number tables, and we're gonna assign numbers, two-digit numbers in this case, to each of these percentages. So he has a 70% chance of making it out. So I'm going to assign. Now I have I have an I have two things I could do. I can either assign these two-digit numbers or I can do one digit because we're talking about a 100% chance. So I can just do um, zero to six, right? Those are seven digits. Or I can go double zero to 69 because remember we got to count the double zero. We can't go. We can't go zero one to seventy because if we did zero one to seventy, look. Let's look at this. If we did zero one to seventy, yeah, this would be seventy digits or seventy possibilities. Uh, but if we did seventy one to, let's see, another ten percent would be eighty. We would have to do eighty. Okay, that's 80. Okay, so then we're going to do uh, 81 to, well, uh, here's our problem now. We can't do 81 to 100 because that's now a three-digit number. We want to keep them two-digit numbers. So we can't, we can't do that, right? We'd have to go, we have to go 00, 0 to 69, then 70 to 79, then 80 to 99, and that gives us 70 possibilities for 0 through 69 that's 70 because the double zero counts as one then 70 to 79 that's another 10 and then 80 to 99 is another 20 which tells us you know 20 percent because there's 20 of them 10 percent because there's 10 of them and then 70 percent because there's 70 of them now we could also we could also go uh, this is 0 to 6. That's 7 out of 10. We could go just say this is uh, number 7, right? And then 20 would be 8 and 9 because that's 2 out of 10. So we got 2 out of 10, 1 out of 10, 7 out of 10, which allows us to simulate for our trials. So I think what I'll do, though, for this one is I'll go with my double digits. So let's go and use our double digits. So we'll say we'll, we're going to assign uh, double zero to 69 to mean an out. 
And then we're going to do 70 to 79 to mean a walk. And then we're going to do 80 to 99, and that's going to mean a hit. Okay. So now that I've assigned my, my random number, my my numbers here, I can go and do my trial. So let's take a look at the first one, which is our first trial. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down the list here, and we want to know, estimate the probability that out of five at-bats, the player gets at least one hit. So what we're going to do is we're going to do five at-bats, and then we're going to see if he got one hit. Now, um, it doesn't tell us about strikes. It just tells at, at a bat. For out of bat, he makes an out or a walk. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We'll do trial one. So I'll do trial one, and we'll do that in blue here. Okay, trial one. We got one, two, and then four and three is three, four and five. So those are his first five um, at bats. So this one, eleven, means he goes out. Okay, that's out. Sixteen is out. 43 is also out, and then 63 is out, and then 18 is also out. So in, in these five at-bats, he went out the whole time, okay? So in trial one, okay, um, zero hits. Let's do trial two, trial one. Let's do trial two. We'll do that in green. So trial two. Okay, so we're going to keep going. 75 is a walk. 6 is an out. 13 is an out. 76 is a walk. 74 is a walk. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's the first. That's trial 2. So we have uh, 2 outs and 3 walks. So how many hits is that? None. So 0 hits. And now three is 26 is a out, 32 is an out, seven is an out, 51 is also an out, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, that's an out. Okay, so another zero hits. And then we're gonna continue this process and do a lot more, simu lot more trials, okay? So we're gonna, we're going to want to have as many trials. I think in this problem, actually, when I got it, it said 30 trials. We would be here for a long time doing 30 trials, okay? But we we got you know we, we have to keep going. So um, I'm going to do two more trials here, and then I'm going to say that's pretty much it for this one. Um, okay, so 10 is... All right, so what I'll do right now is I'll pause it, actually, and then uh, I'll do a few trials here, and then we'll see what we get, okay? Okay, here we go. Um, let's take a look at, um, now what, what I have here now is that I've taken and I've done uh, 20 different trials. And now what I do after I finish the 20, I'm just gonna take the average of those 20. So um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Out of, so I got 18 hits um, out of What's that? 20 times 5. Okay. Oh, it says, uh, estimate the probability that out of 5 outs, the player gets at least one hit. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 out of 20 is my probability, which ends up being um, 6 tenths, which is... Three fifths, all right. So I've got a three fifths. He's got a three fifths probability according to our simulation. All right, let's take a look at one more. Um, and in this one, we're looking at a person with type O positive blood can receive blood only from other type of other type of donors. O donors, sorry. About forty four percent of the U.S. So now we're talking about we do definitely need a double digit. So we're going to go zero zero to forty three is type O. And then 44 to 99 is going to be non-typo, right? And so what we're going to do here 
is we're going, this says how many potential donors do you expect to examine in order to get three units? So what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of trials and we're going to keep going until we get three type O blood, then we're going to stop. Then we're going to do another trial, three type O, then we're going to stop, another trial, and then we're going to take those trials and find the average number of trials it takes to get at least three, okay? So, or how many people we're going to get. All right, so um, let's do trial one and then we're going to do this using the TI Inspire. So let's take a look using the TI Inspire. And so in my calculator menu here, I'm going to do rand int. Okay, so rand random integer. Random integer, and I'm going to pick a random integer from double zero, right? So in this case, I'm just going to do zero, zero to 99. All right, so let's pick our first one is going to be 94. And 94 was a non-typo, okay? So we got 94, 90, 14. Okay, we got one, right? Okay, because we had 94, 90, then 14. Okay, so 14 works, so that's our first one, and we're just gonna keep going until we find, okay, until we find enough here. 51, okay, does that work? Nope, that doesn't work. Okay, so that didn't work. Let's try another one. Um, hit enter. 40, that seems to work. Okay, so we got 40. Okay. Enter. 73, that doesn't work. We got to write them down, though, because we need to know how many we did each time. Four, that works. Okay, so there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in the first trial, it took seven people in order to, um, to get a type O blood. So now we're going to do another trial. And we're going to do the same thing. Okay, so let's do another one. We get 33. That's good. So we got our first one. Now let's do another one here. 99. All right, that doesn't work. But we got to write it down nonetheless. Okay. Oh, come on. 20. 20 is good. All right, let's try another one here. And we'll just keep going until we get three. 79. That doesn't work. 95. That doesn't work. 22. There we go. 22. So that works. So that took us uh, one, two, three, four, five, six times. All right, so that took us six people before we found our three. And then we're going to do this, um, I'd say we're going to do this at least four or five more trials, maybe even ten. And then we're going to see what the average number of people that it took to get us to the, to the number of, uh, um, to get us to three type O blood donors. Okay, so we're going to, again, we're going to take a, ten trials. And we're going to take the average number of people that it took us in those ten trials to find our third type O blood donor, and that's going to be our estimate, how many potential donors we're going to have. It should take us, we're going to say, it should take us at least a certain amount, all right? Okay, so that's uh, that's pretty much it. Um, if you want, what I'll do here is I will uh, continue to run this simulation, um, but I'm getting close to running out of time for, for this video. Okay, so uh, here we are. I did the I did the last few trials here. Um, we've got we've got uh, seven in the first one, six in the other one, four. I did, only did four trials, but you know, like I said, we can keep on going. Now, notice here that I got um, 5.75, and uh, right there, 5.75, and that's about the average it's going to take. So, what I would say at the end here is we're going to take it's going to take at least six donors for us to find those three that are type O blood. All right, so um, that's it. That's simulation. I'm going to put my stun of shades back on here. And, uh, and say, you know what, that's it. All you got to do is assign numbers to the percentages, depending on what they are. Pick your random variables. Do your trial one at a time. Boom, bada bing, bada bang, you're done. That's it. See you next time. Peace.